What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys an early look at the upcoming No Two Ways Syzygy. Today's video is sponsored by the good people from Hefalux. Hefalux is my all-time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles which essentially is the same material you'll find from Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, whether that's for a pair of thick winter boots or for sneakers, you're going to find there's a suitable insole for everybody. So I've been a paying customer of Hefalux for years now, and I honestly stand by their products. To me, they're just very comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout to get 15% off your entire purchase. No Two Ways, which is a London-based sneaker brand founded by YouTuber Calyx, along with Rockwell Princely. And if you look back on my channel, you'll see I reviewed a few of the different silhouettes already, but if you guys are interested to learn more about their brand and to pick this pair up, I'll add a link down in the description box below as well. So this pair is set to drop on February 28th for a price of 110 Great British Pounds, which is roughly 150 US dollars or 190 Canadian dollars. And the official colorway for this shoe is pure white, onyx black, no two ways orange, and night gray. And according to some online reports, this is supposed to be a pretty limited release, maxed at 2,000 pairs. So first off, here's a quick look at the box, and this comes in a custom box inspired by the colors of the shoe. This is predominantly done in this white colored cardboard. We have this black and orange strip on the side, and there's a half sleeve here as well done in the shiny black colored finish. As for the shoes, so this is a very chunky silhouette, and it's a bit of a trail-like vibe to it. As we dive into the details, the base layer of the shoe on the toe box, we have this white colored mesh with an overlay of this full grain leather on top. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have this black colored nubuck, and you'll see here we have no two ways branding pressed on in white on the lateral side. Right above this, the top eyelet is done in the semi-translucent black colored TPU, and then the remainder of the eyelets are constructed out of this white colored ribbon like material with contrast black and orange stitching. Underneath this, the mid panel is covered in more of that full grain white leather, and we have more of that white colored mesh peeping out from underneath. Overlaid towards the back of the shoe, we have more of that black colored nubuck, and we have this translucent nylon strip which cuts diagonally across the back of the shoe and is stitched together on the back. And then underneath this, we have more of that black colored nubuck, and hanging off the top, we have this smoky gray translucent TPU pull tab, which allows you to get your foot in and out of the shoe a bit easier. In terms of the laces, so these come with two different pairs of laces. The standard default lace is actually a very thick black colored lace, but I wasn't a huge fan of the black laces and I opted to switch them up with the white laces that these come with, which incorporate hits of reflective 3M within it. And these secondary laces also come with these metallic white colored lace tips as well, which shows you their attention to detail and commitment to quality. Underneath this, the tongue is connected to this black mesh overlay, and the remainder of the tongue on the top, this is pretty well padded and it's covered with this white colored nylon. Stitched on on the lateral side, we have this nubuck tab, and we have no two ways branding printed across. On the back side of the tongue, this is a no two ways staple, but we have this orange colored paisley print, which is something we see across all the releases. And then moving on to the insoles, these come with a very well padded thick foam insole. It's lined with this black colored textile on top, and stamped on the heel, we have the no two ways logo done in orange. Underneath the insole for the strobo board, it's actually constructed out of foam, which adds another layer of comfort and it has no two ways branding found right across it. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this chunky phylon foam midsole, which is actually constructed out of recycled foam. It's done in this white colored finish, but we have the speckling of red paint found throughout. And one thing to note is that compared to their past releases, no two ways actually retooled this midsole, making it a bit less elevated and making the heel to toe drop a little bit less dramatic. So one of the issues I had with their past releases was that I felt like I was slanted forward because the heel was just so high and so elevated. So I guess they actually listened to customer responses and they fixed that, making the shoe much more comfortable. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, so the outsole here has a very rugged trail-like appearance to it. It's constructed out of this black colored rubber and we have no two ways branding on the forefoot. So that brings down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, so overall this shoe does fit true to size. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. They sent me this pair in a US size 10, which is a UK size 9, and they fit me perfectly. I've read online that they've retooled the inner fit of the shoe as well. I didn't really notice this too much, but whatever they did, it didn't change the overall sizing. True to size is the way to go for this shoe. Moving on to the comfort, I gotta say this shoe is pretty comfortable. With this very thick phylon foam midsole, it feels very nice, very squishy and soft underfoot. And to add to that, the very thick insole also elevates the comfort as well. And like I mentioned before, they've retooled this midsole, so the heel to toe drop isn't as dramatic. So I feel much more stable and leveled to the ground compared to some of their past releases. 
Finally, in terms of the overall quality and the craftsmanship, so first off, material quality I thought it was solid, but I felt like it wasn't as good as some of their past releases. That's not to say that it's bad by any means, the leathers still feel very genuine and very nice, and the new bugs also feel very nice as well. And similarly, from an overall craftsmanship and build standpoint, there was a lot of visible glue where the midsole connects to the upper, and ultimately it's not that big of a deal, but it's something I noticed. And the last and final comment I want to make is, the shoe has a very strong glue smell when you open up the box for the first time, but I've left them out of the box for a few days now and they definitely air out and doesn't smell as strong anymore. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. In my opinion, this is another very great and very successful release from No Two Ways. I love the fact that they actually listen to their consumers' opinions, and they're not afraid to make changes to make their product even better. And of all the pairs I've reviewed from them so far, this is probably the most wearable of them all. I think this white and black color blocking just makes it a very easy shoe to pair with anything, and I think tossing on these white laces tones it down a little bit, and it just elevates it that much more to me. So if you guys are looking to support other independent brands, be sure to check out No Two Ways. Again, I'll link their website down in the description box so you guys can check them out if you're interested. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on my Instagram as well at esco8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seangoca so until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this early look at this No Two Ways Syzygy, and I'll catch you guys all in my next review.